Okay, Mr. Ng. Hello. Hi, Hello, yes. Okay. Hi, yeah. Okay, so, um, all right, I think we have a few students already, so I can, I think we can start soon. So, um, I'll introduce you first. Um, okay, so our students, welcome to IDP uh, Study Abroad Open Day. Um, so today we have with us uh, Mr. Ng Cheng Han, um, Product Manager from OCBC, um, to speak with us on the Frank Education Loan. All right, so, yeah, uh, let's welcome Mr. Ng. Thank you, Mr. Ng. Okay, okay, thanks, Faisal. Yeah. Okay, are we expecting uh, more people to join? If so I can wait for a couple of minutes. Uh, Faisal, you're on mute. Good 20, so I think um, not to waste time, we can start. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe all of you can see my screen. Yes, we can see your screen. Okay, sure. Uh, then I'll go ahead. Uh. Yeah, so good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sunday and welcome to this session. I uh, also thanks the IDB team for organizing this and inviting us to speak at uh, this seminar. Uh, my name is Han and I'm from the OCBC Personal Loans team. So today is my pleasure to be here to share with you all uh, what Frank by OCBC represents and how our education loan can help you uh, further pursue your education plans. So during the sessions, if you have any questions, please feel free to send them to the chat. And towards the end of my sharing, I'll be addressing these questions uh, during the Q&A segment. Lah. Yeah, so without further ado, let us begin. So what is uh, Frank by OCBC? When we talk about Frank, I suppose a lot of you will recognize this brand alongside the beautiful cut designs that you see on the screen, right? So last year, we even released a Mobile Legends series for some of you gamers out there. So in fact, in Singapore, we are the only band with such a wide variety of cut designs for customers to choose from. And uh, why do we do that? And it's because we believe that bank banking should be vibrant. And in fact, is banking... It's, uh, and in fact, Frank is beyond just beautiful card designs alone. Our main goal is to provide you with banking solutions uh, specifically tailored for you guys, uh, you and young professionals like yourself. And our main goal aligns with our value to provide you with simple, innovative, and honest solutions. I understand that uh, most of you here, uh, due to the nature of this seminar, you are here because you are interested in pursuing uh, further education overseas. And to be frank with you, this is something that I am also interested in doing sometime in the future as well. So trust me, I understand that uh, financing is definitely one key considerations uh, for overseas studies. So coming back to today's objective, I'm here to share with you how um, OCBC's education loan can help you finance your studies and why you should choose us over other providers. All right, so some, here are some reasons. Firstly, we have a swift processing time. In fact, 95% of our loans are processed within five working days or even faster in some cases. So pro pro prospective students like yourself, after receiving your um, admissions to the program, the next key step is to secure financing quickly so you can confirm your place uh, at, at, a, at, a, at a school with a peace of mind, right? So you can rest assured that our team will be working relentlessly after your submission. Yeah. Secondly, our loan terms are definitely competitive uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the market uh, and we have a very flexible um, payment options that can cater to your needs. Yeah. So thirdly, on competitive loan rates, uh, we loan up to 10x the salary or 150k uh, and then the loan tenure is up to eight years. Uh, so it's a wide period that you can choose from. Lah. Yeah. So uh, expanding a, a little bit about the repayment options, we have three repayment options as I mentioned just now. So the first one, uh, starting from the top, is a standard option where your monthly payment uh, is uh, kicks in, uh, is a principal plus interest once your loan is dispersed. Yeah, so some of you guys may think that this is a little taxing given that uh, you're studying, uh, you may not be able to uh, repay as much. So in these cases, uh, you can consider uh, option two or three. So under option two, uh, the graduated option, uh, it means that you will only pay uh, interest while studying and then you convert to paying uh, principal and interest after you graduate. And then in option three, the graduation graduated plus option, you only pay interest while studying and up to one year after graduation. Then subsequently, your repayment uh, plan will be converted into a principal plus interest uh, sum. So all these options are available to all applicants uh, to suit your preferred repayment method. And this is why our education loan is so popular among students. And adding to some of our strengths, uh, we are densely located in Singapore with uh, 38 branches island-wide, uh, supported by our professional loan ambassadors uh, to provide you with assistance and advice. So if you prefer to uh, find out information online, we are, you'll be surprised that our MR chatbot will be able to answer many of your questions on our uh, Frank Education Loan product page. And lastly, going back to Debbie Hart again, uh, by, being one, by being our customers, you get to choose your favorite designs uh, from the 60 designs that we have. And you also get to enjoy rebates uh, on your savings and spendings. 
So moving on to share a little bit about loan eligibility for student applicants like yourself, uh, you will need to fulfill the criteria on the screen and have a joint applicant with you. Yeah, and your total combined income should be at least uh, 24K per year. So you might be wondering what kind of uh, documents uh, you will need uh, at this stage, right? So here are some of the documents. Uh, there are five main documents that will be needed. Uh, firstly, it's a copy of your NRIC. Uh, secondly, if your mailing address differs from your NRIC, you'll need to provide us with uh, a recent bill or bank statement that uh, states your mailing address. And thirdly, it's the income documents. So the fourth and fifth uh, will come from your school, uh, a true set, uh, true copy of the acceptance letter and the schedule of payment. I know at this point in time, it may sound a lot to prepare now, but not to worry. You don't need to have all this information right now. Our loan ambassadors will guide you uh, along the way and work with you to collect the necessary uh, information and documents. Yeah, so you might be wondering uh, how you can submit a loan application, right? There are two ways for you to, uh, to, to submit this. Uh, firstly, is to submit an online interest form and our loan ambassadors will contact directly with you to understand your needs. Uh, secondly, you can either mail link to us or walk to the nearest branch uh, to ask more about this education loan. But of course, in today's COVID climate, there are uh, high digits cases every day. I would strongly suggest everyone to submit the online interest form and have our loan ambassadors contact you directly. And of course, after today's session, uh, if you have any inquiries, uh, if any questions, uh, feel free to drop in the chat or alternatively, after all these events have ended, you may also reach out to us. We are always here for you. Uh, or in fact, you can reach out directly to our loan ambassadors. Uh, here are two loan ambassadors that you can reach out to, uh, Jimmy Bok and Gerald Chan. Their numbers are on the screen as well. Alternatively, you can also drop us an email at the studentloan at ocbc.com. Yep. Otherwise, feel free to go to our website and submit your interest form and we'll, we'll, we'll be getting in touch with you. Okay, so all this sums up my sharing for today. It's uh, quite a short sharing, but uh, I think mainly it will come from the questions that you may have. So uh, feel free to drop in uh, the questions that you have in the chat box below. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah, thank you, Mr. Ng. Uh, yeah, so uh, students, if you have any questions, we still have a lot of time actually. So um, yeah, feel free to ask your questions about um, to Mr. Ng. Okay, we have a yeah. first one here. Hi, could you share more about the repayment options? The ah, okay. No, ah, okay. Let me open up the QA. Uh, one second. Could I, okay, sure. Let me go to the repayment options page. Yeah, some of you may have joined uh, in the midst of it. So uh, I'll, I'll elaborate more on this. Uh, so on the repayment option, there are actually uh, three repayment types that, uh, that we have, if you see on the screen here. So the first option uh, is a standard option where your monthly repayment is uh, the, the principal and interest uh, upon the disbursement of your loan. Yeah, so which means after you 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 uh you borrow the sum of money, you will start uh, repaying uh the interest plus the principal over the entire loan tenure. So it'll be divided and calculated uh for you. But of course, some of the students uh will, will feel that this is a bit taxing because when you're studying, you may not be uh bringing in income. So uh you may want to consider uh the other options like the graduated options, which mean uh you only pay interest for your study, and subsequently you can convert to uh, you will convert to paying principal plus interest after graduation. Yeah, in the third option, uh, the graduated plus option, meaning you pay interest while studying and you have one additional year to pay interest. Subsequently, your repayment plan will convert into principal plus interest. Yeah, so these three uh, repayment methods. Yeah. I uh, hope this answers your question. Uh, the second question is about uh, what is the interest rate for student loan? Yeah. So the interest rate here uh, stated uh, on, the, on the most right-hand corner uh, is 4.5% per, uh, per year. Yeah, so hope this answers your questions. Okay, another question is uh, talking about the interest rate is very high. Wouldn't it make more sense to take a personal loan? Uh, in fact, personal loan is, uh, is slightly different from uh, this, this type of loan. Uh, one, one, one reasoning is uh, because in, in a personal loan, you may not be able to take such a high uh, amount, quantum amount of, uh, of, of multiples on your salary. Uh, the total sum of money that you can borrow um, might be a little bit different depending on the income. Uh, and also because of the MAS regulations, there is a cap on how many, uh, how much they can offer you through a personal loan scheme uh, and, and through an education loan scheme. And of course, the interest rate uh, varies between these two. Uh, it depends on uh, the, the, the rates at a personal loan, which I believe uh, the education loan will be slightly more affordable for a student. Yeah, and of course, the repayment method is also why uh, one uh, a student will consider taking an education loan over a personal loan. So uh, the next question is, uh, what if the joint income is not 24K per, per annum? Is there any other option to go about being eligible for the loan? Okay, so um, 
press for this, I will, I will suggest you to uh, reach out directly to our loan ambassador and they will do an assessment for you on a case-by-case -case basis. Yeah, I hope this answers your question. Next question is on how long is the loan? So the loan tenure can go up to eight years. Yeah. Here, here, uh, let me change this to a highlight laser pointer. Yep, here, eight years tenure. Mm. Uh, the next question is, uh, is the interest rate 4.5% fixed for the period of loan. Uh, yes, the interest rate is 4.5% at, at this point in time. Yep. All right, next question we have is, uh, what is the maximum loan, uh, max loan disbursement amount? So here uh, we, on the screen, we have, uh, we have stated here, it is 10X of the salary or uh, 150K, uh, depending on which is uh, lower. Yeah, but of course, depending on your, the situation and of course on your, uh, your, your, your course of studies, uh, I understand some of you guys, uh, the, the, the education views uh, can, can be a, a little bit higher than this. So feel free to let our loan ambassador know your situation. I think on a case-by-case -case basis, we will, we will review and advise you accordingly. Yeah. So feel free to keep the questions coming in. Uh, I will try to answer them uh, along the way. I'm, I'm reading according to the list. Lah. Yeah. So next question we had, uh, what documents are needed to, to, to be provided when taking the loan? Okay, let me go down to the page uh, where we talk a little bit more about that. Okay, here are five documents. Uh, feel free to scan the QR code to go to our website uh, for more information, or you can just take a picture of this. Uh, ultimately, when you reach out to our loan ambassadors, uh, we will advise you on what kind of documents to provide, so you don't have to worry about that for now. Uh, I'll just go through very briefly what is needed. Uh, firstly, you need a copy of your NRIC, both the front and back. Uh, if, let's say, your, your mailing address differ from your NRIC, you will need to provide us with a recent bill or bank statement that states your mailing address. Thirdly, is the income documents so that we are uh, we can we can under, we can understand and assess uh, the the annum income that you are uh, your, you and your joint applicant are holding. Uh, the fourth and fifth will come from your school. A uh, true copy of your acceptance letter and a schedule of payment. Hmm. Okay, the next question uh, is you know, on the maximum loan amount that we can take. So this uh, this loan amount is stated here. Ten uh, x salary or one hundred fifty k per. Uh, 150k, whichever is lower, yeah. But uh, of course, um, uh, I would suggest you to uh to 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 reach out to our loan ambassador and then uh let them know your your needs and requirements as well. Yeah, I understand that different students depending on the course, the uh, the university, uh the 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 institution, uh, all this uh, amount may be differ slightly. Yeah, so we will assess uh based on your case. Mm. So next question, does the IR, does the interest rate start uh, after graduation or it starts once the loan is approved? So it, it starts uh, upon the loan is uh, approved and dispersed to you. So um, on these, uh, not to worry, when you uh, eventually successfully take down the loan or uh, during the, during, while you are taking, uh, while you are applying for the loan, our loan ambassador will, uh, will go through more details uh, according to these, uh, on this and according to your repayment method as well. Yeah. How much loan can you take? Is it based on annual school fee? Uh, yes, you are, you're right. It's definitely based on your school fee and how much you can take the maximum amount is uh, 10X or 150K depending on whichever is lower. Mm. Can the loan amount be partial or full tuition fees? So this depends uh, on, on your needs. Uh, we, uh, we are, this is definitely open for discussion uh, and I would suggest you to bring up uh, while, uh, during your application as well. Any penalty for early settlement, there's a 1% early settlement fee. Yep, hope this answers your question. Is this fixed rate of interest and will the loan cover all expenses? So this loan will cover your school, uh, school fees. Yeah, and it's a fixed rate, all right. Okay, another question. Uh, there's a lot of, I think there's a few questions uh, pertaining to the maximum loan amount. So uh, once again, the maximum loan amount is uh, 10x salary or 150K, uh, whichever is lower. But uh, of course, if you have a slightly uh, higher amount or if, if, if it doesn't fall within this uh, 150K range, uh, it goes beyond that. Feel free to uh, speak to us. We will, uh, we will advise you accordingly. Hmm. Is the loan subject to a specific list of institutions? Yes, you're right. Uh, you need, uh, you're able to access this list of institutions over at our website. Uh, here, uh, 
in this QR code, you'll be able to see uh, on our Frank Education Loan website uh, which institutions are available. Uh, that's, uh, that's a, it's, a, it's a pretty long list. So if you do a control F and find, you'll be able to find, you should be able to find your institution. Yeah. Could you go to the loan requirements uh, page again? Sure. One second. So this is the loan requirements page. Uh, for the applicant, uh, you will need to be, uh, you have to co-apply with a joint applicant and the total combined income will have to be at least 24K per year. Yep. Okay, feel free to keep the questions coming in. Uh, I, will, I, will, I will go a little bit slower. I think there's, uh, there's a few, one second. Okay, are we able to get loan for our miscellaneous fees such as laptops, uh, personal money, living expenses as part of the education loan? Uh, the, the, the education loan, uh, in fact, is, um, is mainly for your, uh, your, your education fees, your, uh, your tuition fees. Yeah, but if you need uh, uh, personal li uh, living expenses uh, loan, all these kind of loans, our loan ambassador will also be able to uh, advise you accordingly. Yeah, but for the purpose of education loan, it is mainly to pay down your uh, tuition fee. Mm. Okay, will you be sharing the slides with us? If not, could you go through the slides again slower? Uh, sure. So I can I can go to the to the to the to the start of the page where we start talking about education loan. Uh, feel free to take screenshots. I don't think I'll be able to share this step with you. Uh, I'll check with the organizers. Maybe uh, we can we can share this this uh, PDF version with you. Yeah, but uh, for now I will just go through the the slides. Feel free to uh, take down take down uh, any any screenshots lah. Yeah, so I'll go through it slowly. Yeah, okay. Three payment options over here. Yeah. So uh, as I go through the slides uh, slowly, I will also be um, going to the next question lah uh, in the in the interest of time. Yeah. How is fund being dispersed? So uh, in, in some cases, it's dispersed uh, in, in, through a TT transfer. It can be also through a check. It depends on the needs and depends, uh, and depends on the, the, the uh, institution, the financial, uh, the education uh, institution that, uh, that, that, that you are applying with. Yep. So the next question is, what if I accept my letter of admission, but my loan was rejected? Uh, regarding these, uh, my loan was rejected. Okay, so regarding these, uh, in that case, it really, I think you have, you have to speak to the school to see uh, if there's any other options. But uh, in any case, our loan ambassador will be uh, there to advise you on how to um, apply for a loan, uh, and 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 depending on your uh, circumstances, your your uh, financial circumstances, we will uh, we will try to. Uh, help you with the loan application. But in any case, if it's rejected uh, from our side, there's nothing much we can do as well. So uh, you may have to speak to the school about the admission. Uh, yeah. Would the loan be approved if I'm not working during my studies, example, full-time studies? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it, we will, we will, uh, you don't have to be uh, working full time uh, as, as a student. So we understand that. This is why uh, we, we, we have, uh, we need you to apply for joint applicant and your combined income just have to be uh, um, 24K and above uh, per year. Yeah, so uh, we understand that you guys, uh, when you guys are studying, uh, you may not be working, right? Uh, that is also why we have um, the, the different repayment options, three repayment options in fact, uh, the, the interest first or the interest first or uh, the graduated and the graduated plus option might be something that's more suitable for you uh, because during this period while you're studying, you only be paying interest. Yeah, so this might be more applicable for you. Mm. To uni, I suppose this question is, uh, will the education loan uh, be used only for paying your uni expenses, uh, your uni school fees, right? So uh, yes, you're right. So this uh, education loan is mainly for paying down your tuition fees. So uh, it doesn't cover living expenses at the moment. So if you need, uh, in any case, to uh, have some financing for living expenses, feel free to let our uh, loan ambassador know and we can try to work something out for you. Yeah. Uh, loan can be for foreign study where it's not in Singapore. Uh, I believe you mean uh, overseas studies. Yes, you are right. Uh, it, can, it can be applicable for overseas studies. And uh, in fact, we have a list of eligible uh, 
uh, education institutions that we are supporting through this uh, education loan. So feel free to look that up on our website. I'll go to the next page so uh, you guys can uh, probably take some screenshots and, and take a look. Yeah, so this is the eligibility page. And uh, if you need to go to our website, uh, feel free to go and check it out our Frank Education website through this QR code. Uh, next question is the 150K per year. Uh, 150K is uh, by the, uh, the loan itself. So per loan, it is uh, 10X of your salary or 150K, whichever is lower. Yeah, the maximum loan amount. Mm. Is the loan disbursement to align to the cost and uh, annual fee schedule three to four years? Yes, correct. So uh, it depends on uh, how... Uh, how your school uh, is collecting the, 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 uh, the school fees. So here we, we mentioned that we, are, we will need a, a true copy or schedule of payment for cost. Yeah, so we will, uh, it will be dispersed based on that. Mm. Uh, if student take loan, will, will it impact student visa? Uh, to be honest, I'm not too sure whether it affects your visa application. This you might have to check with the uh, the the. the the, the application body that uh, you apply your visa with. Yeah. Will the interest rate remain at 4.5% once approved? Uh, yes, so, so uh, when, when it's approved at, uh, for your loan, it will, it will be as per the term stated in your loan. Yeah, uh, unless there's any subsequent changes on our website uh, before you apply, before it's confirmed, then it will be, uh, it will be shared with you. Yeah, but for now it's 4.5%, yes. So next question, will the entire loan disbursement be dispersed at once? Uh, no, it will be dispersed based on your uh, tuition fee payment schedule, depending on the school that uh, you go to. Uh, do you offer loans to students studying in the US? Uh, yes, we offer to uh, a wide variety of overseas universities. So you can uh, take a look at that on our website. There's a list uh, of universities. Uh, in any case, uh, if, if, if it's not in the list, uh, feel free to reach out to us as well. We will, uh, we, will, we will take a look at your application in the school that you're going to and advise you accordingly. Yeah. Income criteria, is this the total family income? Uh, no, this is not the total family income. In fact, it is only yours and uh, the joint applicant's income. These two combined have to be 24K and above. Uh, next question, will the loan be dispersed all at once? Uh, the loan will be dis will not be dispersed all at once. It will be di uh, dispersed based on your payment uh, schedule, uh, depending on the school's payment schedule. Yep. Hi, can you give an example of how the repayment would work based on the standard plan? What is expected and per annum? Okay, so let's go back to the page again uh, on the repayment plan. So under standard, right? Uh, what, what we mean by paying principal as interest is depending on what you borrow and depending on the interest that will be charged on your borrowing sum, uh, we will just divide it across the, 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 the tenure of your, of, your, of your loan. Yeah, so in fact, uh, just put an example out there. If you're borrowing 100K and if the interest come down to uh, a few thousand dollars, we'll add this sum together and then divide it by the tenure of your, of your loan, uh, of your loan, be it eight years or what, uh, and you pay the monthly sum that is, uh, that is divided. And what is expected, and it really depends on, on, on your school fees. Lah. Yeah. The funds will be transferred to, next question, the funds will be transferred to our institution right away, straight away. Yeah, so it will be, it will be given to your, to your school. Yeah. Can the loan be with 2% together? So the loan, uh, one student with 2% name for the loan. You mean joint applicant? Yes, uh, you're right. So for student education loan, we will need a joint applicant to, uh, to apply with you. Yes. Next question, funds dispersed directly to university? Yes, you're right. Uh, you, it can be done through TT transfer or it, uh, in some cases, it could be a check directed to the, uh, to the university. Can we take loan from second year uh, fee schedule onwards? Uh, yes, feel free to reach out to our loan ambassador. Uh, if let's say you are you are, you want to take a loan, uh, in the midst of your studies, uh, you, you need you need uh, uh education loan, uh, you can reach out to us. We will we will arrange. Uh, we will help you with your application. Yeah. So next question: If the school fee increase annually, will the loan increase? Um. So if the school fees increase, uh, of course you have to you have to let us know. Then we will uh, we will see, uh, we will assess the, uh, the 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 increase of costs will have to be justified by the documents that uh, the school will provide. Uh, but from my understanding, uh, when I went to school two years ago, uh, when when you accept the the cost of study, the school fees should be fixed at a point in time. Yeah. So uh, that shouldn't be a 
a very big issue. But of course, if let's say the school uh, has a clause that says they can increase it anytime, at any point in time they want to, uh, feel free to let us know. Uh. Yeah. Early repayment, any penalty, uh, there's an early repayment fee of 1%. Yeah. Uh, the next question, what if the 150K is not, um, not enough for the four years of study? Yeah, okay. So if let's say uh, your uh, the loan that you, that, that you, would, you would need a little bit more than 150K, uh, you can feel free to let us know through our loan ambassador. Uh, they will be the, the, the best person to advise you on, uh, on, the, on, on what, uh, how to put through your application and, and what kind of amount uh, should be required for your studies. Mm. Yeah, so if let's say you need more than 150K, uh, not to worry, just uh, come to us first and we will, we will, uh, we will try to help you out uh, with the application and see what we can do. I think there's also some questions in the chat. Uh, I'm mainly looking at the Q&A just now. And uh, I think we have uh, last four minutes, so I will probably take uh, two to three more questions. So feel free to uh, jot them down in the Q&A sec segment. Yeah, in any case, um, if you if you see if you look at the the chat, uh, Josephine, Josephine Poe is uh, my colleague. So she has been answering some of the questions. So yeah. Not to worry, uh, we are both here to help you with your queries. And even after this session, uh, if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to drop by any of our branches, uh, speak to our loan ambassadors, or just come to our website, submit an indication, interest indication form, and then we will uh, get in touch with you. Okay, I, I see a few more questions. Okay, since the loan is not dispersed fully, but based on the interval of school fee payment, is the interest based on the dispersed amount? Yes, the interest is based on the, uh, the amount that is, uh, that is dispersed. Yep. How would you convert the currency? Would it be based on the bank's interest rate? Uh, yes, you're right. It'll be based on the, the interest rate of the bank. Yep. Ah, okay, I see another question. Uh, loan for Singapore or PR? Yes, you are right. Loan is for Singapore or PR only. Yep. Okay, yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ng. Uh, that's very comprehensive and for answering all the questions. So students, I hope you got your questions clarified. Um, I think, um, Mr. We can also they can also email you, right, um, to the email that you have provided us is that possible uh yes so uh let me go to the page again uh mm -hmm. here here are some of the ways you can contact us uh mm -hmm. feel free to reach out directly to our loan ambassadors or email us or just go to our website and just submit the interest indication form and our loan ambassadors will uh will be with you shortly mm -hmm. yeah. okay yeah so students you can screenshot this take a photo and um yeah uh further questions you can just email or call them all right uh do we have any more uh last minute questions before we wrap up, can both parents apply the loan with the same child, meaning two times loan amount? Mr. Ng? Uh, let me see the question. Can hmm. both parents apply the same the loan with the child, meaning two times? Okay, so the loan amount will be based, the loan will be based on the uh the, the education, the uh the documents and the uh of the of the education uh institutions that you're applying with. So uh for one uh, one course you you can only use it for once. So uh, if you need more amount like more than hundred fifty k, uh, just come to us first, and then we will see what we can do. Uh, yeah, our loan ambassador will advise you. So you need not uh send in two applications for the same uh course of study. Yeah. Okay, I hope that answers your question. Mm. Okay, great. Thank you. Um. Okay. So I think um, most of the questions are answered. Uh, some of it was repetitive, right? So I think um, you guys have similar questions. So nonetheless, uh, if really you still need further inquiries, um, you can just email uh, once again or call uh, as shown as at the slide, okay? Um, yeah, okay. So I think um, we can wrap up. It's 